Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back. Can you buy an asset right now that could be worth 20 times as much in 5 to 10 years? I am sure that that answer is yes, but where do you look for such a sure thing? The problem with that statement is that this is not a risk-free venture. You could buy $100,000 worth of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies today, and then most governments ban all cryptocurrencies tomorrow. This is the main risk that we are taking today with cryptocurrencies. But cryptocurrencies and the blockchain are not technologies to sneeze at. This will change our world for the better. I know that in the past, many businesses and governments said that Bitcoin is only used for illicit activities. Question. Do you know what the number one currency used for most worldwide illegal activities is now and has been for a very, very long time? That would be the US dollar. I still hear this some today, but way less than just five years ago. Basically, the people using this as a reason to ban cryptocurrencies know this is false. They are trying to protect their assets and the status quo. People who don't care about societal laws, rules, and norms will use whatever currency that is available. If we look back at what people were saying about the internet over 25 years ago, we can see many technologies we were very confused about then that we can't live without today. But well, it's very hip to be on the internet right now. What, what is internet that, anyway? Internet is uh, that massive computer right. network, the one that's becoming really big now. So Allison, can you explain what internet is? I'm afraid that if I subscribe to something like internet, you would really be hooked. I would get hooked and I would never, you know, spend time with my family. Well, I just, as I mentioned, I have no desire to be a part of the internet because I feel like I'm so inundated with information all the time that I don't really, I don't want more. I see cryptocurrencies and the blockchain as an added layer of security to an otherwise wide open internet. Per Wikipedia, a cryptocurrency is a digital asset designed to work as a medium of exchange wherein individual coin ownership records are stored in a ledger existing in a form of computerized database using strong cryptography to secure transaction records to control the creation of additional coins and to verify the transfer of coin ownership. But what exactly is the future of cryptocurrency? Well, let's find out together today in this video. Let me start by saying I believe Bitcoin and Ethereum are here to stay, but for very different reasons. I think that Bitcoin will be the gold in the digital space. Ethereum is being used so much in so many blockchain areas that I believe if cryptocurrencies are banned as a currency, Ethereum will still exist and have value. I have purchased my fair share of cryptocurrencies, and let me say, more have been failures than successes. But I will also say that my successes more than covered my losses in the crypto space. I learned this the hard way, but just like with stocks, invest long term and invest in promising companies or technologies. NFTs are the big technologies built on top of Ethereum right now. NFTs are non-fungible tokens. Per Wikipedia, a non-fungible token or NFT is a unit of data stored on a blockchain, a digital ledger, which can represent a unique digital item like art an NFT is a cryptographic token, but unlike cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and many networks or utility tokens, NFTs are not mutually interchangeable, i.e. not fungible. An NFT is created by uploading a file, such as an artwork, to an NFT auction market. I'm currently purchasing NBA NFTs on NBATopshot.com. I have to say, this has been a very fun and educational way to learn about NFTs. Just seeing where cryptocurrencies and the blockchain have come in just the past seven years is nothing short of amazing. What I am saying is because of all the technology that cryptocurrencies and the blockchain allow us to create, I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon. Some governments and banks may not like a new currency over which they have no control. Bitcoin is a self-regulating, limited resource. Several other cryptocurrencies have these same characteristics. But what I have learned from investing in cryptocurrencies over the past four to five years is to invest in great cryptos with actual real-world use. As the real-world use picks up, so will the value of these cryptocurrency investments. Bitcoin is known as the digital gold. Tesla now accepts Bitcoin. Think about that. Tesla now accepts Bitcoin. Does this make you think that cryptocurrencies are going anywhere anytime soon? I think not. 
Even before NFTs, Ethereum was being used all over the blockchain. Several other coins, or should I say tokens, are based on Ethereum. These are called ERC-20 tokens. This fact alone lets me know that Ethereum isn't going anywhere. All other tokens using the Ethereum blockchain would have to cease to exist before Ethereum could ultimately end. Oh, before this slips my mind, if you haven't already, please watch our video, Bitcoin or not to Bitcoin next. The link is in the description below. Visa is bending over backward to be able to accept Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. They don't see cryptocurrencies as a threat. They see cryptocurrencies as a way to grow their business and to help the everyday small business owners do the same thing. Like with Tesla and Visa, there has been a wide-scale promotion of Bitcoin and Bitcoin investing at institutional levels. Some of these institutions are Fidelity Investments, JP Morgan, and PayPal. Fidelity launched its first-ever Bitcoin fund for its wealthy investor. This fund was open under the unit Fidelity Digital Unit, and the minimum investment was $100,000. The fund will track Bitcoin's performance as measured by the Fidelity Bitcoin Index, which Fidelity created to track the price of digital currency. JP Morgan created a crypto business unit with 100 staffers. Analysts in their company have suggested that it's a great alternative investment to gold and that they have predicted that the value will double or triple considering the current trends. PayPal announced that users will be allowed to buy and sell in Bitcoin or Ethereum and other digital currencies using their PayPal accounts. Many other big companies and firms are not just supporting Bitcoin, but they have also started stockpiling millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin. This will work towards slowly and gradually stabilizing the currency. And it'll act as a motivation for individual investors to hold on and keep trading. Let me back up for a minute and define what a currency is. Currencies like the US dollar, the British pound, the Japanese yen, or the euro allow us to agree upon the value of something, anything. We can go to the grocery store and purchase a loaf of bread for three US dollars. That price is known right there in the store. We don't have to barter using our livestock or use precious metals like gold or silver. We do have a built-in issue here, though. I only gave you four examples of world currencies, and the exchange rate between all the world's currencies changes every second of every day. We say we live in a global society, and we do. Doesn't a global digital currency make sense? One where a bank can't hold up transferring funds for days? Most cryptocurrency transactions are settled in minutes. Yes, if I send you one Bitcoin, one Litecoin, one Ethereum, or most other cryptocurrencies, this will take only minutes before the funds leave my crypto wallet and show up in your crypto wallet. This doesn't matter if one person is currently in the UK and the other person is in the US, Russia, China, and so on. Sometimes the fees can be a bit much. But I have seen these transaction fees come down dramatically since 2017, and I would assume they will only get better over time. So, with cryptocurrencies, you don't have the middleman, the bank, to slow down your transactions. You don't have all your money in a bank that could literally freeze your funds for any reason. You have your funds stored in a digital ledger, so you no longer need the middleman to keep track of an internal ledger. All these computers are writing everything down for you. This network effect makes it unbreakable. Technology makes us richer and wealthier because we need less time, less money, and less effort to get things done. Bitcoin and several other cryptocurrencies are very volatile at this moment. This is not a plus, but a drawback. But, as discussed earlier, with several big companies purchasing Bitcoin and holding onto it, this should only help slow down Bitcoin's volatility. Another drawback is that cryptocurrency wallets are vulnerable to hackers. This is to be expected for anything connected to the internet. I would assume that as more money flows into the world of cryptocurrency, the security will continue to increase. But remember, the blockchain is very secure. The holes come into play with the wallets and not the blockchain itself. In a world where this technology is fully adopted, it won't matter what country you live in. All that will matter is that you have a mobile phone or internet connection, you have skills and knowledge to learn, you can contribute to the global economy. You can benefit from the world, and the world can benefit from you. I think cryptocurrencies are going to be as impactful to humanity as the internet has been. We are just in the cryptocurrency and blockchain infancy.
We have now presented several positives and negatives related to cryptocurrency, and it's now up to you to come up with your own conclusion. What do you think will happen to cryptocurrency in the future? Have you invested in crypto? Are you planning on investing in crypto? Tell us in the comments below. That's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful and informative, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the links below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell as it will help out this channel a lot. Check out one or both of the videos listed here on this page. And as always, learn more, hustle on, and power through. Thank you and see you all in just a few minutes.